Right. Wow. You should have videoed our chat in the corridor. That was quite yeah. nice, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. A bit of reminiscing going on there. Well, it's good to chat. Yep. Um, it's got a few questions uh, for you, Lars. Mm -hmm. Some are serious, some are not so serious. We, we'll start with a, a, a pretty hard hitting question if you to kind of ease yourself into the interview. Coffee or beer? <laughs> uh, I don't know, I prefer coffee. You prefer coffee? I'm not really a beer drinker. Do you not a beer drinker? That's no, no, no. For a Belgian, it's strange, I know. For a Belgian, it's like, yeah, I know. And I do we have to cut the interview now? Yeah. Or, <laughs> I know, it, Okay, so you've you've kind of you've gone up, obviously you've been been with this team before. You're back again. Um, you you kind of adopted the kind of British way of life a little bit in terms of preference for tea. Um, what about a cake? What British cake would you would you ideally have to accompany a nice cup of tea? Probably have to be scones, wouldn't it? Being oh, being an yeah. Aussie, we, we'd say scone, but a scone. Proper Yorkshire, you know, from the Dales, clotted cream. That's it. Uh, bit of bit of jam. Oh, mate. Straight to the ribs, Matt. She'll, <laughs> she'll stick there. Won't won't come off. But uh, I mean, that's one of the things to, to look forward to. Uh, you know, G introduced me to to Welsh cakes a, a few years back. I do I do like those too. You're out for a ride, and a, a genie, quite weirdly, emerges from your bead on, um, and says, "You, what animal do you want to be?" It gives you a choice to be an animal for a day, but if you if you refuse, you will be blighted with having an enormously large left hand. So do you have the left hand for the rest of your life? That's massive, about that big. Life or day? Uh, uh, life. <laughs> or, <laughs> or choose an animal to be for a day. I wouldn't mind being an animal for a day, it'd be alright. What would you go for? I don't know, to be honest. Uh, go for something like, I don't know, like an eagle or something? Fly I was, around? I was thinking a bird of some yeah, sort to fly, fly around, around, see what's going on. That'd be nice. Nice aerial it? views. I mean, there. imagine sort of Basim sort of flying around Andorra and places yeah, like great, that. Yeah, that'd be nice, yeah. wouldn't it? Pop in for a coffee. <laughs> I wonder if you get served uh, as an eagle. Uh, do you ma can you imagine that? Uh, probably not. No, uh, I don't think that's ever. I don't think I've ever come across that in my mind at any one point. I think I better move on. Okay, so you're a bit of a gamer. Yeah, I'm from the generation who grew up with it. I yeah. think. And, uh, yeah, I like it. So what, what's your what's your go-to game then? What's a game that you like revisiting? A real classic. FIFA, of course, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but the problem is you get aggressive when you lose online, and uh, <laughs> that's why uh, it's not really good for me. Uh, you lose energy sometimes with it instead of relaxing after your training. Rugby or cricket? Cricket, come on. Okay. Oh, that was pretty. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. All right. Okay. I don't, don't believe in rugby league or even union. Where I'm from, it's it's not played. It's all about Australian wow. rules, which is. Or aerial ping pong, as they aerial call it. Aerial ping Never heard it called <laughs> so, that before. Yeah, it's the, you know, the bigger sport, but cricket for me. Would, would an arm rest, wrestle between you and, and Simon? Arm wrestle? Ooh. Have you ever have you ever arm wrestled? We have, but a long time ago. I reckon, uh, I'd probably take him. I'll take him, I reckon. Okay. We'll have to line it up and find yeah. the We, we might have to do him. another video later in the year. Yeah, I reckon I'll take uh, him. In, in a, yeah, we'll give that a go. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. And what about um, Neighbours or Home and Away? Come on. Uh, I can't stand either. I watched, <laughs> that wasn't uh, too chill. Uh, <laughs> it was the, me that put that question in, so uh, apologies for that. I watched the five news at five, and you can ask my wife. I'm straight over to, to uh, the remote to turn it over. The, the neighbor's uh, song comes on, and I, I can't deal with it. Okay, this is an important question. This is a big one now. <laughs> okay, so just think about the answer. Don't rush to your answer here. Johan Museo or Roger de Blemick? <laughs> 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 I don't make myself popular saying it's yeah. a difficult one. Yeah, uh, yeah you want to see him then. Okay. Because I remember him riding and Roger de Vlaming is far from. Okay, yeah. that's a good excuse to yeah. get, get yourself out of that one. He's a, he's a good guy, uh, he's a good guy, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, a yeah. funny guy. Yeah, yeah. What's your favourite thing about boy racing? What's the kind of thing that stands out for you that really continues to motivate you? The shower on the bus. <laughs> shower on the bus. The, the best thing ever. The best moment of the day. Shower in the bus or dinner or breakfast. The right. chefs are pretty good. So. Right. You know what? Every time I pin a number on, I can't believe how long I've been racing for because I'm still crap at it. Uh, <laughs> I can't pin them on straight. But I'm always forever unpinning it and putting it back on. This might be a tough one. Have you got your phone on you? It's in my record. What's your most used emoji? Do you think? Uh, <laughs> that's, that's quite, that's, I like that question. I like that. Uh, laughing. And, the, 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 the laughing one. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like do you like the laughing one that's straight or the laughing one on the side? 
uh, on the side. On the side. <laughs> Full <Fugas> gas laughing. 